What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, it is Friday, November 8th, and we have 12 NBA games, not bad and everything. Uh, coming off a pretty good day. Uh, yesterday, I went 3-1 and one in the picks, and I only missed my, list, my least favorite pick. So, uh, that was the under in the Minnesota and Chicago game. So, uh, side note... Um, looked like I was leaning towards all the favorites yesterday and that's kind of why I thought I was uh, looking at it a little skewed and a little trappy but uh, all the favorites covered um, they were all losing at halftime you know so uh, my thought process wasn't uh, completely off to be um, weary of them uh, but Portland was beating San Antonio um, at the half and then San Antonio won uh, the third quarter and the fourth quarter uh, fourth quarter by one point, but they dominated the third quarter to come back and cover the four uh, Minnesota Chicago um, Chicago was way up uh, at the half and uh, Minnesota won the third by four and then dominated the uh, fourth uh, by 20 points So I uh, was able to cover the ten points uh, eight and a half. I think I had and then uh, Milwaukee uh, Was playing a pretty close game at the half and they were down uh, but they outscored them by double in the third, and they uh, dominated the fourth as well. So uh, they ended up winning by 23. So uh, favorites don't always do that, especially these favorites, uh, Minnesota, uh, San Antonio, and Milwaukee, but uh, worked out yesterday. Um, also, the uh, football game, great game. Um, a lot of people were trying to go sharp and go under. Uh, thinking that the first game was that high scoring where the second game had to overcorrect and they weren't terribly wrong um, the first game got to uh, 79 uh, and this one only got to 69 so they were 10 points short of the first one but the total was at 53 and that was way too low so um, in this one I think it was 34 points scored in the fourth quarter um, and we had 31 points scored in the first quarter, fourth quarter in the first game. So, uh, as long as that option was still there for these two guys, you know, going down to the wire, like I, I, I can see nothing but an over. Um, and once Joe hit that last touchdown, I knew my plus six was safe again. Uh, I just wasn't sure if they were going to make uh, make that two or not. So. Ended up losing a heartbreaker, uh, so they're all into against Baltimore after playing some of their best football all season. Uh, but that's the kind of way it goes. Uh, Lamar Jackson is that guy, and he's on my fantasy team right above Jamar Chase. So uh, already starting off on the right foot for that. So great night, great night for me. I was pretty hyped. I was pretty hyped on that last touchdown. I I didn't know I could still do a front flip on the bed, but I, I could. So. Um, going into the NBA card today, uh, like I said, I'm not betting everything. Um, like the Pelicans and Magic, the first game up, uh, Paolo Bencaro is still out. And um, Pelicans have only covered two games this year. So uh, I thought they were closer than they have been. Uh, I think I may have hit some live numbers maybe. But i um, going to stay off this game uh, until the Magic is healthy. And uh, the Pelicans still got a bunch of people questionable. They could... Uh, they could be uh, fully healthy tonight. That number could change. So, uh, next game up, we got the Pacers and the Hornets. Um, I like the Pacers in this game, uh, and I like the over in this game. Uh, I think the Pacers, uh, as they go along, they start to get people to play their kind of basketball. And uh, the Hornets are not going to be playing defense tonight. Uh, totals already been bet up, and I still think they can get higher than that. So, um, I don't know if Charlotte can keep up, and that's why I like the Pacers also. So, I uh, like the over. I uh, also like the Pacers. Uh, Atlanta and Detroit. Um, I, I would like the Pistons here. Um, like to fade the Hawks, especially coming off of uh, a win versus the Knicks, um, where they had to, I don't want to say play their heart out, because the Knicks have been questionable this year also. Uh, but they always play an intense game in uh, Madison Square Garden, so um, traveling back to uh, Detroit, trying to get their uh, their focus back, I think they, they might be able to let this one slip, so 
uh, Pistons minus one. Not sure if I'll bet it or not. Uh, Warriors and the Cavs. Uh, we have minus four and a half for the Cavs. Totals at 231. Bet up from 229. I do like the over. Um, I do like the over. Uh, not sure the spread. Uh, both these teams are uh, playing great basketball so far. Uh, Golden State is 7-1, and one, even with Steph missing like three, four games. Uh, Cleveland is still undefeated, so I'm not sure if they're still the only undefeated team or not, actually. So check that out as we go down the list here. Um, but yeah, i uh not sure on the spread, but I do like the over in this game, over 231. I think they can get up over that number. Uh, Bucks and the Knicks. Um, I think the Bucks might be able to cover this plus seven. Only thing that worries me is they're on a the back to back um, with travel from who they beat yesterday, Utah. So uh, coming out of elevation, uh, coming to New York, it's far enough. Oh no, Milwaukee. They were in Milwaukee yesterday. They just played Utah. So. Uh, definitely, that's not as far. Um, Milwaukee, New York. Um, I still would say lean on the Bucks, uh, but I don't like who either of these teams are right now, so I probably won't bet this game. Uh, Nets and the Celtics. Um, I think it's a level of competition thing here. I think the Celtics are by far uh, the better team, um, and I don't think the Nets have played to the same level of competition that the Celtics have played yet. So, uh, coming off a loss to the Warriors, I think the Celtics could roll on this game, so uh, Celtics minus that big number uh, not my favorite bet though I hate those big spreads Suns and Mavs, I like the Mavs at home with the short number um, anytime it's a uh, Kyrie uh, Kevin Durant game um, Luka Durant uh, Luka, uh, Bradley no, Luka, uh, Devin Booker um I think we're in for uh, a really competitive game. Uh, but I like the Mavs at home. Um, I like to have the Mavs been playing uh, over how the Suns have been playing. Uh, neither one has been terrible, but I think the Mavs have been playing a slightly better ball. So, um, well, looking at it now, the Mavs have played tougher teams than the Phoenix Suns have in my opinion. Phoenix has played in their last three games, they've played Portland, 76ers, and the Heat. Uh, they only covered they didn't cover any of those last three. Uh, they did cover against the Clippers, and they did not cover against the Lakers. Um, the Mavs, however, did cover against the Bulls, they are missing Lively. They lost outright to the Pacers. They covered against the Magic with no Ben Caro. They lost to the Rockets and beat the Timberwolves. So, um, scratch what I said. Lively, Lively's out. Um, I think anything could happen in this game. Um, not to say that the Mavs won't win, but it's a short enough number where, you know, Phoenix covering it or, you know, there's too many variables. There's too many variables with this one. Um, West Coast teams that I don't get to watch that often. Um, I thought the Mavs were playing better ball than the numbers tell me. Um, so maybe I need to watch a couple more games. Um, Thunder in the Rockets. Um, I like the Thunder to stay on a roll. Uh, I like the Rockets at home. So, on the road, I'd rather pick Thunder. Um, it is a bigger number, uh, but they have been covering these type of numbers anyway. So, they've been looking dominant this year, and I'd rather stay on the train than jump off just yet. So, they lost their last game to the uh, Nuggets at home, or in Denver, I should say, and the Nuggets are starting to get on a roll. Um, the previous one they didn't cover was a 12.5 number versus the Spurs but they won outright uh, by eight, so, or by 12 even, by 12 even, so, uh, they barely didn't cover, um, I do think they can cover against this Rockets team, so, 
Um, Thunder minus eight and a half for that one. Uh, Wizards and the Grizzlies. Uh, there's no John Morant tonight. He's out with a hip injury. Um, so this could be a wizard spot, uh, plus seven, but not really willing to bet it. Um, move on to the next game, Heat and the Nuggets. Nuggets at home. I'm on the Nuggets minus the three and a half. Um, don't really have a thought on the total. Um, maybe the under, but the Nuggets could go off and the Heat would have to catch up. So um, I would rather just have them have the uh, Nuggets on the spread. Blazers and the Timberwolves. Uh, like I said in that last game, because Timberwolves were in a back-to-back, they played yesterday. Um, travel from Chicago to Portland. Nope, Chicago uh, back home to Minnesota. So uh, travel nonetheless, and now they're hosting the Blazers as twelve-point favorites. Um, neither one of those games are really super important for this Minnesota team. I would say that the Blazers could cover this big number um, with Minnesota on a back-to-back and Minnesota could still win by seven, eight, nine points. So I would lean Blazers, but I don't think I'm going to bet it. Uh, Clippers and the Kings. Kings at home um, to continue a slight uh, win streak, I believe. Coming off a couple good games versus the Raptors with Kendrick Lamar playing in the background. So Clippers, Clippers have won two out of the last five, uh, covering both those two, not covering the losses. uh, Kings have won four of the last five, only losing to Toronto in Toronto. So I thought they won that game, actually. And they were nine and a half point favorites in that game. And they lost the, uh, they lost by uh, three outright. So uh, they got their get back uh, in last game in Sacramento. But I thought they won both of them. So uh, there they have that uh, big rivalry because DeRozan just left Portland. Um, Drake is in the stands talking shit. Um, all that stuff like that. So, uh, I guess I was more concerned with the meme than the game. But, uh, in this one, I kind of like the Kings over the Clippers. Kings minus the six and a half. Um, let's see what it is. Make sure. It's up to seven now. I don't know if I like it at seven. Um, 76ers and the Lakers. Uh, Anthony Davis on their injury report. Not sure if he's going to play. Uh, still no Joel Embiid um, and no Tyrese Maxey now. Paul George is playing, scoring about 18 points a game. Um, not sure if I want to bet this. I might lean the Lakers at home, uh, but they're both 1-4 and four in their last five games straight up. So Neither one of them really playing that good a ball to me. In their last five games, Philly playing the Clippers, the Suns, the Grizzlies, the Pistons, and the Pacers. Lakers playing the Grizzlies, the Pistons, the Raptors, the Cavs, and the Suns. Similar, they both got the Suns and the Pistons and the Grizzlies on here. And they lost to each of them. Uh, each of those teams beat the Lakers. Each of those teams beat the 76ers. So, um, matched up together, probably the Lakers shouldn't shouldn't be um, that big a favorite. But without their um, two of their three best players, I don't know if the 76ers can compete. So, um, staying off the game unless I need a, a late night boost. But uh, I guess I'm leaning Lakers. So. Uh, Those are going to be the picks. Um, My favorites are going to be the Pacers and the over. Um, Celtics. Warriors, Cavs, over. And Nuggets at home. So. One. Two. Three. 
four, five picks. Um, go ahead, lock those in. Let's get this money, and we'll be back tomorrow to talk um, some more NBA. Maybe throw a college football pick in there, uh, but we'll be back to talk something. We'll see you then.